Hi, I'm Meg Joannides. I'm a designer based in Los Angeles, and I'm coming to you from the Thomas Lavin showroom in the Pacific Design Center in Los Angeles. Let's get into the topic of the whole house palette. How are these rooms going to coexist together? The goal is to create a flow to balance all of the elements, furniture, window treatments, rugs, lights, materials. If you can think of it like a symphony where every instrument has its role, but together they create the music. The process starts with all of the materials and elements that are built into the architecture. After that, we layer in the textiles, the furniture, the window treatments, the area rugs. The topic of color is something that you bring up quite early on in the process with clients because clients, generally speaking, will have a preference for or against certain colors. Taking into consideration a client's preference for color and being able to implement that in a way that creates a harmonious environment is definitely a challenge for every project. In this project, the clients were not open to bold color on walls or floors, but they were very much open to bold color in artwork and in accessories. They also felt that if they ever got tired of the color, we could take a painting off the wall, move it to another room, and replace it with something different, giving them the ability to live with a new color without much disruption. We do pay attention to what kind of natural light is a room getting and how does that affect the color that we might add to walls or color that we might add to ceilings or floors. We take into consideration whether the room is supposed to feel quiet, serene, or upbeat and happy. In a breakfast room, we might use yellows, but maybe not in a master bedroom. What is the view? out of these rooms that we're designing. For example, this is a beach house and has a massive ocean view. We find that hard to compete with when we're talking about the interiors. So we've created, for example, a very neutral palette here with highs and lows. It's our job as designers to make the clients feel comfortable with or without the use of color. And it's our job to be able to place it properly to create a successful interior.